Hello everybody, welcome to Recovery Lab TV. My name is Chris, I'm your coach and sports therapist and this is the final Ironman race of the series uh, here in the UK and Ireland. It is Ironman Weymouth. 70.3 race. I am here in the beautiful town of Weymouth and uh, as you can see this is the amazing finish line that I will be running down tomorrow afternoon. Um, we've got beautiful bay, beautiful beach here so it is an amazing amazing venue for such a fast race. Um, got a lovely bay swim, a lovely rolling hill course and the run is absolutely pan flat around this harbour and around this bay so um, if you haven't checked out Weymouth before check that out um, if you can hit the subscribe button give the video a like and by all means if you have any questions whatsoever in regards to my preparation in regards to what you see in this video or if you're looking to get into Ironman and you don't know anything about it by all means drop a message in the comment section I will get back to each and every one of you I hope you enjoyed this video We've got some awesome footage uh, to show you, so by all means, uh, sit down, make a cup of tea, and uh, enjoy the video ahead. So here we are at the Roka Swim uh, here in Weymouth, and in the distance you can see another gateway um, and uh, timing signs. That's where we queue up and go in to the water, and then from there, if you can see the very first orange boy in the distance, you're going to swim to the second orange boy just by here and then you're going to come up this kind of carpet and out and then onto the red carpet and then follow me all the way down into transition coming around there so um today and yesterday especially yesterday um the conditions are lovely absolutely lovely as you can see the current shifts across this way um going from left to right now the reason why that's so important is because as you swim out you're going against the current and it's going to push you to the right hand side so you're going to need to sight left i tend to tell everyone to aim towards 11 o'clock uh, position on um, on the kind of time clock if you will uh, as soon as you come across you're going to literally fly between boy one and two uh, and then on the way inside what i always tell people is um, you end up seeing this kind of banana shaped curve coming in because of the current pushing uh, people to the right hand side and uh, now obviously you're doing the opposite when you're coming in so instead of aiming left you're aiming right and just behind me um, there's a set of trees just by here now what happens is um, when you see the swim arch because it's black it tends to blend in a lot with these buildings and the roof of these buildings now um, if you aim for these trees it's just the right hand side of those trees so when you're on the way out uh, and when you're 750 meters out into sea it's a little bit easier to track a little bit easier to aim for all right so there's a little tip for you um, if you're struggling but yeah really looking forward to it the weather is looking a little bit worse for wear for tomorrow and the conditions are um, reflecting that so it's lovely and calm here it's meant to be a four foot swell tomorrow but time will tell there's a lot can change in 24 hours as uh, you've seen in all the Ironman videos I've done so far but uh, yeah it's looking beautiful as ever so here we are in transition and literally got a lovely little spot so you come in from the door just by here where it's got the, the run out exit okay you're coming in that side going in where the guys are literally getting their time and chips and uh, i'm then running in oh this side the opposite side and then literally coming straight out to this section over here so just out that door so brilliant brilliant thing literally just in and straight out pretty much you've got the female changing behind me and you've got the male changing the other side for those who want to just wear um, a swimsuit then a cycling suit then a run suit i did for bolton um, i tend to wear a tri suit for most of the races however bolton i wanted to uh, try something different just just because um, and yeah literally you go in there you go all your privacy you can strip off bollock naked if you want to and then job done and then you're out but um literally the weighted vest is just by there underneath got the flag you notice that i've got a bigger flag this time thanks to uh rock to recovery after ireland um 
and uh, Wales and so on and so forth, the, the flag just disappeared. Uh, I don't know if someone took it, I don't know if it got misplaced or whatever, but it just disappeared. Uh, luckily, I've still got the weighted vest. Um, and Rock to Recovery were kind enough to uh, send me another flag uh, next day delivery. So uh, I will be carrying those. It's a much bigger flag, uh, and as, as such, it's a much bigger pole. So uh, hopefully, you guys will see me a little bit um, well, in the distance so you can get cheering, and uh, more importantly, that you can see the Rock to Recovery flag and head to them, send some donations in. Um, if you can and if you want to, there's going to be a donation link on this video and there's also going to be a donation link in my Instagram bio. So if you want to head over to I am Chris underscore Hill, uh, you'll find me on there or on the, the link in um, follow me for more. You know, I got all my socials on there. So if you want to do that, you can. Uh, otherwise, enjoy the video. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. I appreciate you all. If you have any questions about this procedure, about like how Ironman works, what these red bags are all for, what the blue bags are for, if you've never done an Ironman before in your life and you want to get into it, by all means, ask as many questions as you can. Send me a direct message if uh, you want to do it privately. Um, honestly, there are no stupid questions, but uh, I look forward to speaking to each and every one of you and helping you as best as I can, all right? Enjoy the video and uh, see you in a bit. transition uh, on the Saturday and uh, literally just racked my bike up with Linda she's racked the bike up she's just by the orange bike and I'm just by here um, I'm 510 for those who want to check my times or uh, support or whatever you want to do with that information uh, but yeah pretty good literally coming down at the B and then uh, straight up and then straight out just over there so yeah pretty good it's all really chilled out here at the moment like a lot of people are just slowly walking into transition putting their stuff in but as you can tell there's a lot of spaces left ready for people to come later today i've decided to get it out of the way uh, so then that way it's less stress uh, a little bit more chilled on the saturday and job done but i've got the weighted vest i've got the flag i've got my bags that are going to go into uh, the transition tent just over there and then uh, I'll get my timing chip, which will go directly on my left ankle. Because uh, for those who have um, subscribed to the channel and have seen uh, a number of other videos, you'll notice that I am a sucker for it and uh, lost, not lost, but misplaced um, my timing chip once. So it'll never happen again, all right? But uh, yeah, all good. Good morning, everybody. So it is officially race day and it is absolutely smashing it down. We've had a bit of thunder and lightning so far. Uh, transition's been pushed back half an hour. Um, at the moment, nothing's been said about the swim, whether that's gonna be delayed, whether it's gonna go ahead. But 
um, like I keep telling my athletes, nothing changes until something changes. All right, and by that I mean literally everything needs to go ahead as planned. You don't allow anything to kind of get into your head. You just act as normal until to, uh, told otherwise. All right. So um, I hope you enjoyed the video so far. Please like and subscribe. And uh, yeah, let me know your thoughts in the comment. All right. See you in a bit. So we are all here waiting to go to the swim and uh, lo and behold they have uh, cancelled the swim and given us 40 minutes to get onto the bike. Um, unfortunately it is what it is as much as it's cleared up. Sea's still a bit choppy and with everything that's going on lately they are taking um, health and safety as a, a huge precaution. So uh, unfortunately it is what it is. I was really uh, looking forward to the swim. Absolutely love the swim. but. Um, unfortunately uh, it's out on the bike i'm uh, still yet to find out what the cutoff times are now are they um, moving everything forward are the bike cutoffs and uh, the run cutoffs still the same um but then the race is just a little bit shorter but yeah we're, we're about to find that out uh, more so uh yeah it should be interesting the first ever race uh, where i've had one of the stages actually cut um and yeah if you've been following any of the videos this year um, and any of the races I've done this year, you'll know that every single every single race has had something happen to it, and it is to just the joys of racing, doing Ironman. Uh, unfortunately, is what it is. Um, but yeah, it's a little going. But some people are happy because they uh, were shitting themselves about the swim, but like also a little bit disappointed because uh, it takes the shine away from the day. But yeah, unfortunately, it is what it is. But here we are. We've got a ton of uh, Ironman athletes all making their way back to uh, transition which is going to make transition absolutely carnage but yeah here we are
Super happy I finished, but um, uh, yeah, so far I'm waiting for one more athlete from Recovery Lab to come in. So I'm going to be here until they do, and then uh, yeah, drop down. If you can, hit that subscribe button. I hope you enjoyed the video so far. Um, make a donation if you can in the link below. And uh, yeah, once again, I appreciate you for watching. Thanks again.